Japan is the land of the underwear. Um, as you can see, this is men's underwear, and there's lots of different varieties of men's underwear and all sorts of pretty colours and uh, designs with things written on them. Uh, there's more conventional underwear here, but look, lots of lots of pretty uh, men's underwear. I don't know how much there is in uh, the UK, but I'm willing to um, uh, hypothesise or bet that there'll probably be more pretty underwear in a Japanese department store, especially for the men but also over there for the women. Um, there's um, an attendant on on guard there, so I won't be taking um, shots of the women's underwear. It's a bit sort of risque, isn't it? Women's underwear videos. But uh, as you can see, there's loads and loads of pretty men's underwear. And uh, the tendency of uh, Japanese people to um, go in for a lot of underwear is very, very old. Uh, it's as old as the Heian period, which is about a thousand years ago, when uh, Japanese aristocracy used to wear uh, 12 layers Juni uh, Hitoe of underwear beneath their kimono uh, they don't think of it as underwear they think of it as sort of under kimono but it is a form of underwear uh, here it all is, tons and tons of underwear now so why is it that the Japanese are so into underwear um, after a while in the um, Heian, no, the Muromachi period when the, when the Heian aristocracy uh, weren't so rich anymore they couldn't afford to wear uh, 12 layers of underwear and they started wearing one of those layers on the outside apparently and there was a gekokujo, that means um, a tail wagging the dog or normally underwear is thought of being as um, inferior to outerwear they started wearing their underwear on, the, on their outerwear and also that happened again in the 90s when Japan invented the camisole fashion of wearing one's underwear camisole above one's, uh, as one's top layer of clothing so these things that were underwear become outerwear. Here I am. And um, what, why? Well, the reason is because the Japanese people don't need a mirror to see themselves. They've, um, uh, just as we can um, uh, hear ourselves from the point of view of our mothers or um, our um, internalized um, uh, third person, uh, the Japanese have internalized their mother as a, a viewing person so that um, they can see themselves from that point of view. And this means that uh, they have shame which is not dependent upon uh, other people. They, they feel shame on their own due to their own view of themselves. So Benedict was right and wrong. It is a shame culture, but it's not a shame culture in the way that she described it. It's a shame culture which is just as uh, moral, just as uh, internalized as a, a Western guilt culture and it also means that they can see inside things and there's research to show that uh, if you get Japanese people to say to draw a car you can ask them to draw the engine as well and they'll draw sort of a, a cutaway because they're good at simulating a visual s a position away from themselves so it doesn't really need to be um, you know it, it can see through things that vision it's a simulated vision so it's got x-ray eyes uh, so they can see through things, see inside things and also um, see from the point of view of the audience um, no practitioners, uh, that's Japanese drama, can, um, I'm just walking around the underwear aimlessly, uh, can see the back of their heads. Uh, Ziami, someone from about um, 1,200 years ago, wrote that um, no practitioners can see themselves. Uh, well, Japanese people in general, but especially people who practice uh, Japanese drama because um, they're really, really good at it. So, um, uh, as they can see themselves and also see through things, their underwear is very important to them. Much far more, I just wear boring black underwear, but to a Japanese person, they can see it, you know. They can be walking along the street and they know what colour their underwear is. It's sort of in their mind's eye and it makes them feel happy. So that's why they're into underwear, and maybe one day, well, it's already happened to a certain extent, that uh, underwear will once again uh, tail wagging the dog and they'll wear their underwear outside their trousers like Superman. Something like that will happen one day, I think. Uh, it's already happened to an extent. You show your underwear to other people. Okay, uh, there it is.